An Australian actor shared a bizarre post defending former NRL star Jared Hayne after he was convicted of sexual assault. He was released on bail over the long Easter weekend, but is expected to remain behind bars when he returns to court in May. The Dally M winner was tried for the third time and found guilty a second time for the same incident. Although jury claimed that sexual encounter was purely consensual, jury accepted her version of events, in which woman repeatedly said no and stop. On Wednesday night, underbelly actor Faraz Dirani shared a post on his Instagram story claiming that Hain was framed. Faraz Dirani claims Hain was slandered. The underbelly actor has come under fire recently for his comments on COVID-19 conspiracy theories. He said the case made no sense to him and was built on fabrication and contempt. The black athlete gets the P asterisk 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 asterisk. That's what they want you to believe, he said. We couldn't catch it on the field, let's blame it in court. I'm telling you as I see it. Jared Hain leaves Downing Center in Sydney holding the hand of his wife, Amelia Bonacy. NCA Newswire Christian Jill He then went on to compare the case to that of American rapper Tupac Shakur, who was convicted of sexually assaulting a 19-year-old woman in a New York hotel in 1993. He spent nine months in prison. It's not the first time Durrani has come under fire recently for his controversial views on current events, sharing that he believes the S who killed Queensland cops Rachel McCrow and Matthew Arnold in December were caused by COVID-19. It disturbed people's brains. He compared Haynes' conviction to Tupac's. In recent years, he has been criticized for conspiracy theories. He claimed that the OU's trio, who shot and killed two young police officers and a neighbor, fell ill with COVID-19. I'm commenting that mental health may be a problem in this mass. It was motivated by two years of long isolation and lies. He was criticized for his comments at the time. Two Gigabytes presenter Mark Levi blew up on the actor at the time and told him to continue acting. Here's a tip for you, first Durrani keep learning your lines and sitting in the makeup chair, man. Because while you pretend to shoot people, these cops are dealing with real crime on the streets, he said. Thoas Durrani attends the Million Dollar Beard Ball at the Ivy Ballroom on May 13, 2021 in Sydney, Australia. He also sparked backlash during his tenure at SAS Australia when former Channel 10 executive Rob Knight labelled the actor, unemployed, for his behaviour on and off the show. His antics on social media and in interviews provided further evidence that he wasn't just a victim of bad guy editing he was simply facing the consequences of his own actions. He found himself portrayed as the bad guy on the show, head-to-head -head with his co-stars. He disappeared and endangered his teammates during a mission during the show. Fellow comedian Merrick Watts called him selfish for his actions. There's no real place for someone not to play the team game, you have to look at people. Thoas is very selfish, very selfish and it's starting influence this group, he said. During a press tour after the show, Mr. Durrani blasted his fellow cast members, calling co-star Shanann Ponton ignorant and accusing Mr. Watts of trying to make her a baby. Speaking to the morning show, she told the program to have fun, get some exercise and push my limits, psychologically, physically and see where it goes. I'm Larrikin. I'm a joker. I like to keep it upbeat and lively, and lot of people out there lost their sense of humor," he said.